That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. On July 20th, 1969, silence and curiosity gripped the world as the Lunar Module Eagle dropped toward the moon. Inside, warning alarms blared and fuel ran dangerously low. Less than half a minute remained. Amidst all this tension, with steady hands, Captain Neil Armstrong guided the craft past a deadly boulder field, and, at last, his calm voice crackled through. Listen, uh... Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Moments later, Armstrong, along with the lunar module pilot Buzz Aldrin, stepped onto the moon's surface, leaving humanity's first footprints on another world. One of the most defining moments in the entire human history, Apollo 11's story is filled with lesser-known details that make the mission even more remarkable. Let's uncover a few such details. Landing at the edge of a disaster. The final descent of Apollo 11 was far more dangerous and nail-biting than most people realize. As the lunar module Eagle approached its target, Armstrong saw that the planned landing site was strewn with boulders large enough to topple the fragile craft. Taking manual control, he searched for a safer spot while the onboard computer counted down the remaining fuel. When Eagle finally touched down, only about 20 seconds of fuel remained just enough for one last desperate attempt at Armstrong failed. The narrow margin highlighted not only the skill of the astronauts, but also the razor-thin line between triumph and disaster. Collins, the forgotten astronaut. While Armstrong and Aldrin walked on the moon's surface, Michael Collins remained alone in lunar orbit aboard the command module Columbia. For nearly a full day, he circled the moon alone, precisely 30 times, sometimes passing behind it and losing all contact with Earth. Unlike his companions, he never set foot on the moon, and history and popular memory frequently overlooked his vital contribution because of this. He later described himself as privileged and not the loneliest man, opposed to what the popular media labeled him as. Even in later years, as the world celebrated the first footsteps on another world, Collins remained deliberately out of the limelight, a key part of Apollo 11. His efforts ensured success, even if history often placed him in the background. A 69-cent pen that saved the mission. In the cramped lunar module, a moment of dread unfolded when Buzz Aldrin accidentally snapped off a circuit breaker switch, one that controlled the ascent engine, their only way back to orbit. Without it, Armstrong and Aldrin would have been in serious trouble despite fallbacks in place. Amidst the crisis came an almost absurdly simple idea. Aldrin reached for an ordinary felt-tip pen and used its tip to push the broken switch back into place. With that improvised fix, the ascent engine could fire, and the pen instantly transformed from a trivial tool into one of the unsung heroes of Apollo 11. The flag that didn't last. When Armstrong and Aldrin planted the American flag into the lunar soil, it became one of the most iconic images in history. Very few people know, however, that the Apollo 11 flag did not remain standing for long. The exhaust from the lunar module's ascent engine toppled it as the astronauts lifted off to rejoin Michael Collins in orbit. Later missions placed flags farther away, but decades of unfiltered sunlight and micrometeoroid impacts have almost certainly bleached them pale. What were once strong symbols of achievement are now probably faded by time. The smell of the moon. After returning from their historic moonwalk, Armstrong and Aldrin noticed an unusual odor inside the lunar module. Lunar dust had clung to their spacesuits and equipment, bringing with it a scent that they described as similar to burnt charcoal or ash. This smell lingered throughout the cabin and surprised the astronauts, who were not expecting such a sensory effect. Scientists later studied the dust and determined that its tiny, sharp-edged particles and unique chemical composition could have interacted with the air inside the module to create the smell. Even today, this odor remains one of the most curious aspects of the moon. Imagine a perfume which smells exactly like that. The fear of space germs. 
scientists were worried that lunar microbes might have been carried back to Earth and could pose serious challenges to people down here. And so Aldrin, Armstrong, and Collins were put in a three-week quarantine immediately upon their re-entry to Earth and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24, 1969. The trio was transferred to a mobile quarantine facility immediately after splashdown. From there, they were transported to the NASA Lunar Receiving Laboratory at the Johnson Space Center, where they remained in a larger quarantine facility until their release on August 10, 1969. In the end, that small step for a man really became a giant leap for mankind. Stay curious, share this video, and subscribe for more.